Hello and welcome back to our review with me Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. This week we're sticking with the Lowlands and we're sticking with the same distillery we've done last week. We've got Lindor's but this week this is a limited edition. As you can see by the colour of it, this is a full sherry or also maturation uh, from Yerev in Spain. So in and around that area is kind of sherry country if you would say. This is where all the kind of premium casks we get in whiskey come from. This looks to me to be very, very active. The colour of it, if you can see in the glass, straight away is super dark. It's kind of like a red cola tinge to it. It's it's stunning looking. This is a limited edition. I think they've done three. I think they've done a bourbon. They've done the STR cask. And they've also done this one here, which is a sherry. And it's a kind of uh, homage to the three casks that they use in the first release. I'm sure the first release was a bourbon. Uh, sorry, full bourbon, bourbon cask, sherry cask, and the STR with a wine barrique in there as well. So that could be something that will be coming out at some point. The ABV on this one is 49.4% ABV, non chill filtered and natural colour. I don't think it's cast strength. I think this is the number they've went with. We look at Lindor's 2017s when they, they've came back to life. It took over 500 years for them since they previously made whiskey to bring it back to fruition. And they're bringing us this. We look at whiskey, that's quite young, we're looking at six, seven years old. It's still got a lot of time to mature, to try and find its feet and what it wants to be. The whiskies that I've had for Lindor so far, I've, I've really enjoyed for how young they are. And I believe that the cast that they are picking are premium. I said it last week and the first release that they've done, I just, I loved it. And I think you can, they've hidden the youthfulness of the spirit very, very well. With this, I'm expecting the same. Maybe a little bit more because of the colour of this whiskey. And I know it's non shell filtered, and I know it's natural colour, and I know it's spent its full time in all or also sherry. It's had nothing else. So, new, new make spirits went straight into that cask, and this is what we've got. So, there's been 100% maturation in a sherry cask. I'm expecting big, bold flavours. I'm expecting to find that kind of little spiritually uh, led. New makey, yeah, to an extent as well, because we still don't know how old it is. We know it's older than three, could be six. I'm going to say it's maybe kicking around the five-year-old mark, four and a half to maybe five and a half years old is what I personally think it might be. But enough chat. Let's get this on the nose. Let's get this on the palate. Let's see where we go from here. And say the colour is absolutely stunning. It's dark. It's rich. Red colour is probably the best way I can describe it from that tinge. Um, yeah, let's get this on the nose. Let's see how we get on. See the legs straight away. Yeah, it looks kind of thick. It looks they're taking their time to come down there. So yeah, I'm expecting bold, chewy, chewy dram. Yeah, cherry straight away. Absolutely big, bold, red, sticky, clotted jam. You know, it's got that. Strawberry jam with raspberry jam, dark fruit jam as well, dark cherry. It's not um it's not like that kind of citrus lead in, in cherries, it's an, uh, a muddled cherry note to it. I say strawberry jam, can't get away from it. It's got a kind of milk chocolate note as well. That kind of cappuccino hit that's coming. I am getting no young spirit from this at all. This is all sherry, all forefront. You can get a little bit of the ABV coming through the 14 and a half, and I think that's for maybe because it is young, if it was older, stock they've used for this um, and kept it in the cask, I'm going to expect it to be a little bit more settled. But a slight alcohol hit coming through. A little bit of like kind of fig and dates. But yeah, kind of throw off a chocolate coffee, you know, chocolatey on top, kind of hit on top of those darker fruits. It's magic. Absolutely magic. The colour the color is just unbelievable. Right, let's get this on the palette, see where we go from here. Is the nose going to be as good as the palette? I'm hoping it is. Slang your own.
slightly drying at the end. That kind of milk chocolatey note stays, it's drier. Milky coffee, there's this kind of backbone of that cappuccino style. Again, I do sometimes get cappuccino with cappuccino notes with the chocolate um, sprinkles on top with sherry cast at times. It's just something I always kind of relate to. It's not as jammy in the palate, it's definitely dry. It's got the more of the kind of dates and figs and things like that on, on the palate. It still stays sweet, but it's not overly sweet at all. I don't think it needs water, but I'm just going to add a couple of drops anyway, just to see if anything changes, if anything wants to, to open up. It's a really good mouthfeel, it's quite medium to finish. It has got that kind of chewy texture again, with just being kind of thick sherry notes, if you had sherry on its own. But again, that cask is just, it's so active and it's hidden that new mix bit. So active. Kind of foresty as well, it may be um, kind of like piney oak coming through, pine needles to an extent. Is that kind of little, that's the kind of cleanness you're getting from it on top of those jammy notes and your muddled cherries and, and things like that and the chocolatey froth on top of a coffee or a cappuccino, sorry. It noses really well. Let's see what's on the palate with a little bit of water. A wee couple of drops in there is actually slightly evened out. It could be my palate, it's just kind of more used to it just now, so it's the first time I've had today. It might just be a little bit more used, but a little bit of water in there I think is absolutely level it out to a good level. It does stay more of the, the milk chocolate sprinkles that I was saying with the undertones of the more sherry notes of those muddled cherries coming through. It's there's there's kind of no spice to it now. It is a sweeter style finish. That more kind of syrup led molasses maybe kind of uh, yeah more brown sugar notes on top of those muddled cherries, muddled berries, muddled strawberries, things along that line. It's, it's not super sweet, which I thought it would have been, and I think that's a combination of a very active cask and young spirit. And it's just somehow even its way out. This is a whiskey. People don't like whiskey. No, I don't want to try any whiskey. It all smells the same, all tastes the same. This is the one you'd maybe start with. Now, I think this is a good avenue into whiskey. Yes, it's not the whiskey aficionado of for me, I love a really good bourbon cask, uh, single cask bourbon, which has been very active. I also love sherry casks. This is a sweeter, this is maybe the incline of someone that would maybe want to get in. This is Lowland as well. It's a new distillery, if you take away from 1494, when it was around and one of the oldest distilleries ever to be, to be founded. But I think it's a way in. I, 50 pounds, 55 pounds you're paying for this, limited edition, 49.4%. Full sherry oloroso, and this is part of the, the cask series of showing you what cask they use in their standard bottlings. I love it. I think this is really good value for money. I'm happy with that. I need to say thank you to Ronnie as well, who's gifted me this to, to review this week. He's dropped it by and he says, if you want to do a review on this, it'd be great. I think you'll like it and he's not wrong. So Ronnie, really appreciate that. I'll try and keep as much in the bottle as I can for you before I give it back. Just knows he's really well. Yeah, if you like sherry whiskey, this is it. This is the one to go for. Really, really enjoying this, and I think it's just an easy sipper. Uh, really good nose, really good palate, really good mouthfeel, really good finish. Everything ticks all, ticks all the boxes. I think I'm going to finish this in the other room and smell this a, a, a little bit more. But again, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks everyone for subscribing, liking, leaving comments. If you're not subscribed, do so as well and you'll see some weekly content. As I say, I keep trying to get around to doing a live. It's just finding the right time and booking something for you guys. So I'll do my best on that.
I'm going to go and sit back, going to go and relax, finish this wee dram, and see how we get on for the rest of the day. But as always, I've been Kevin from Kevin Grant Whiskey. Join me next week. Let's talk whiskey. Bye.